five or four greens movies a day and this movie is banana water and wheatgrass with a tiny bit of ginger and i'm going to top it off with some chia seeds there we go so guys, I'm going to do um, a thought for the day, add a thought, for, a thought for the day element to the videos today. Um, I was doing that on my previous channel, um, inspirational quotes, um, just general thoughts for the day. And I'm thinking it will be really good for me to kind of add that element on this channel as well. Not a separate video necessarily, but um, add those, add the element, thought for the day element to the actual vlog videos that I do every single day. Um, today's day five of um, 30 days of greens, four green smoothies a day. So I'm still eating food. Um, I showed you this morning my green, first green smoothie. I'm not going to show you loads of green smoothies today. What I'm going to actually do today is I'm going to do my thought for the day. And then after this, um, I'm going to show you some books I've been um, reading to help me with my health journey. And so, like recommended books. And so, maybe if you're on the health journey as well, you might want to consider getting some of these books. Anyway, so the thought for the day today is by, Ant is by PC Cast. And it's from... Uh, Goddess of the Sun of the Sea, um, and it's Goddess Summoning Number One, and it's about love. And I'm doing this because I know a few people, and just not necessarily friends of mine, but just a few people that I know of, associates, um, that are kind of struggling with relationships, and they kind of find themselves in a situation where they're either forcing themselves on somebody, or somebody's forcing themselves on them. And in order to kind of get away from that kind of toxic. Um, situation you kind of really need to start understanding what love really is and start reevaluating yourself and get to a point where you love yourself enough to actually attract the right person so true love is not a potion one person can swallow and another refuse to drink it happens only when the souls of two join together to form one and this is by PC cast goddess of the sea and it's goddess summoning number one um, I want to read this other quote as well, and it's from the fault. Um, it's from the fault in our stars. That film. Um, well, it was a book by John Green. The book, the film is amazing anyway. But I really like the quotes in that film, and so I want to read another quote. And it says, "I'm in love with you, and I know that love is just a shout into the void, and that oblivion is inevitable, and that we are all doomed, and that there will be there will come a day when all our labour has been returned to dust." And I know the sun will swallow the only earth we'll ever have. And I am in love with you. <sighs> that quote kind of gives me the goosebumps, you know. This is exactly um, the kind of words you need to hear if you kind of are having issues with actually really knowing what love is. When you really love somebody, those are the kind of words that you'll be saying to your, to your partner or to the person that you, that you, that you, that you really, really love. Um, so take that time to really... Um, reevaluate your situation and to soul search and look at your relationship and question it and see if it really is that true love and if it's not you know you need to sort of just start thinking about getting out of it and actually working on yourself working on the relationship with yourself in order to attract the right person for you because no relationship is ever going to be perfect I know but you will know when you have the right person in your life. Um, so if, you f if you're feeling like that, that, that person that you're with isn't the right person, or that person that's kind of hanging around, lingering around your ex-partner or whatever that you're sort of considering getting back with, really, really, uh, really, really strongly advise you to consider trying to get out of the situation because it's not worth wasting your life on... The wrong person it's just not worth it it really isn't anyway stay tuned um in this video because i'm going to show you the books that i've um been reading um so yeah bye okay so i did say i was going to do a, a video well a quick clip of the books that i've been reading over the past few months for um my health journey not necessarily say reading but that i've been books that i've been using and some of them are food books, some of them are just um, workout books and other bits. Okay, so the first book that I've actually read, and I'm reading it again, is Cosmic Ordering by Jonathan Jonathan Kainer, How to Make Your Dreams Come True. Um, 
I, I, I just, I just like the concept of cosmic ordering, and so I've just read it. You know, I've actually read this a couple of times. Actually, I'm, if I'm, 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 I'm lying. Uh, this will be the third, third time I've read it. I like certain quotes in there, so I'll leave some information about you know where you can get these books below. Um, and as you probably know, and you might you might not actually, but you know, on my previous channel, obviously, I started off as a vegan, you know, vegan plant based fully. At the moment, I'm uh, eating like around eighty percent plant based food. So some of these books are not, you know, vegan or whatever. But um, the abs diet for women. Um, and this book is by David Zeng Zenko, um, the editor in chief of Men's Health, um, with Ted Spiker. And it's the abs diet for women: the six pack plan to flatten your belly and firm up your body, firm up your body for life. The re I got this book ages ago, but I found that it's got some nice recipes in there. Um, there's no pictures. One of those books has got no pictures. It's a bit of a kind of, um, you know, just got loads of recipes in there and explanations and edit and ex. Well, it has got pictures, but they're not in color. Um, and kind of exercise tutorials and things like that. I kind of didn't really use it for that. I used it for the recipes mainly, but it does have a lot of information in there. Um, and it's not vegan. It's got some vegan recipes in there and some vegetarian recipes and some like non um, plant based recipes, etc. Uh, the next book is one of my favourites, Juice Master by J Jason Val. I've got over hundred recipes and delicious juice and smoothies. Um, keeping it simple. I got this book free when I got my juicer. Um, and I've used it so many times for recipes and everything. I've, it's inspired me to make my own recipes and um, I just love it. Basically, one of the things that I love about this book as well is that it, it doesn't just give you the recipe. It explains exactly why the ingredients in that particular recipe are good for you and why they're beneficial. So I love that book. It's actually twelve ninety nine, but it was free with my... Um, one of the another books is... I actually got this book from my sister. It's called The Cometic Diet and it's by Dr. Moata Ashby. Um, this book, I, I don't really, I wouldn't recommend this book for somebody who is uh, just looking for recipes and stuff because this does have a few recipes in there, but a lot of it is history stuff and kind of explaining the, the way they used to eat in ancient Kemet and explains that the best diet for you is basically a vegan, raw vegan um, diet and it gives you a few recipes and everything. It's quite extensive, so if you really don't want to read something like that, then just don't, but... Um, it's good if you're interested in history as well about the history of nutrition and stuff like that the next book is a workout book and it's called Body for Life by Bill Phillips my sister recommended me this book it's an amazing 12 week program I've actually never actually finished this program because I only got it a couple of months ago but I started the program I did I think a few weeks and I sort of stopped um, and it's, the reason is the reason why I stopped is because I found that you know, it involves a lot of like writing things down and um, you know tracking your progress and all that kind of thing. And I find it annoying, but I'm going to start again on Monday because I really have seen the, the results with my sister. But it's an absolutely excellent resource. Um, even if you don't want to follow the program, it gives you some ideas of how you can work out. Um, the next book is is a really old book and it's by Carol Vorderman. Um, well, it's actually she didn't actually write the book. Actually, I, she's, I think she wrote it in conjunction with um, with another lady called Ko Shohan, Ko Shohan, so that's the lady on the back there, and it's got, it's a 28 day detox program, the reason why I like this book, it doesn't have any pictures in it actually, it's quite annoying, but it doesn't have any pictures in it, but it's packed full of recipes, and they're all vegan recipes, cooked and raw vegan recipes, so I'm finding on days when I'm just eating all vegan for the day, I sometimes do consult this book, it has a few recipes in there, consult it and I change things up, um, Going Raw by Judita Wignall is one of the is is the first vegan book raw vegan book that I ever bought, and I find this book to be amazing. It's got some really amazing recipes in there, plus it's got some amazing color color pictures in there, plus tutorials and stuff as well. It's a really really good book, and I recommend this book for people that are starting out going raw, um, or people that are raw already and kind of want to find some new recipes because. One thing I will say is that a lot of the recipes in here, like the um, pizza recipe and the mushroom recipe, they require a dehydrator. If you don't have one, then um, you know you can use an oven or something like that, but it doesn't, they don't, it doesn't come out the same. So, um, But there are some recipes in there that don't require a dehydrator as well, so I think you could work with it. Um, and I, I would say it's a good book for anyone who wants to get recipes for raw, for vegan lifestyle. This book is Fat Girl Slim, um, and it's by Ruth Watson, I just like it because it's got packs full of recipes, um, and it's not vegan, it's got 
non-vegan recipes in there and um so it's got vegetarian recipes and non-vegan recipes in there and um meat-based recipes or whatever and fish-based recipes and etc but the reason why i like this book is because some of the recipes in here in here i've when i went vegan originally when i was like vegan 100 percent um or plant-based 100 percent i i found that some of the recipes in here i could kind of change and 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 make them vegan or make them plant-based which is one thing that you need to bear in mind sometimes some people just go out and they buy vegan cookbooks and that's it but there are you can really get some good inspiration from um cookbooks that aren't vegan as well so you can you can just play about with um with some of the recipes the next book is everything raw food recipe book and it's by mike snyder with nancy fast um and lorena novak bull it's got over 300 raw recipes in there um <laughs> And one thing I will say, it doesn't have any pictures in there. If you're someone who, who likes visuals, then you're not you might not like this because there's no pictures at all. I found that quite annoying because I wasn't 100% sure how things were supposed to turn out and look. But I found some amazing recipes in here. I've made some amazing recipes from day one. And I found quite a few recipes that don't require a dehydrator. There's smoothie recipes in there. There's ketchup recipes, fries recipes. So many different recipes in here that you can get. And if you're just starting out on a raw diet, then, you know, this is a really, really good resource, I think. Um, but... If you don't like a book that doesn't have pictures, then you might not like it. Uh, the next book is also by Jason Val, and it's The Juice Master. This is the first Jason Val book I ever bought. The Juice Master, Juice Yourself Slim, Lose Weight Without Dieting. Um, this book does not have any pictures in there at all. It does have recipes, and it's got like the seven-day detox program in there and everything as well, and it sort of explains the reason why juicing is good for you and um, tells you that juice, the reason, you know, explains why people are struggling with their health and everything and what you can actually do to kind of help to um to bring back that vitality and make yourself feel healthier by actually adding juices to your diet it's really good um this book is called the raw food detox by natalia rose um this book is excellent for people who are transitioning from uh, you know, just a normal diet to eating a raw diet or just a plant-based diet. It's really good because what it does is it tells you, it gives you recipes that are a transition recipes. And so she might add like a oh, salmon with, a, you know, a raw salad. And then she'll kind of slowly allow you to transition. And there's different stages that each um, recipe. So for example, um, like in here you've got an Asian dress it, dressing and that's for all levels so you can make it whether you're um, starting out on a raw diet or whether you are a, a, you know already on a fully raw diet so there's all different levels that you know you start off on the first level and you move on to the second level and there's d d different recipes for each level basically um, next book that I'm going to recommend is called Perfect Skin The Natural Approach this book is by Amanda Cochrane. I've had this book for ages. I've always loved it because it's packed full to the brim of um, natural skincare um, remedies and recipes. And it doesn't just give you recipes as in what to put on your face topically. It also gives you recipes for things that you can drink um, or help things that can help to cleanse you internally to help with your skin as well and it gives us a wealth of information in this book and i found it completely and utterly priceless the book cost me 10 pounds 9.99 um uk money and to be honest with you i'm glad i spent that money final book i'm going to talk about today is you are what you eat cookbook and it's by dr Gillian mckeith if i'm if, I, if i'm honest with you this lady kind of annoys me um <laughs> you know I, I can't really watch her on tv but um there are some amazing recipes in this book. The book, obviously, like I said, it's you know it's, it, all the books, all the books I'm talking about in here are not necessarily plant-based books. Um, it has a lot of recipes in there that are that are vegetarian, vegan, and it does have some other recipes in there that are not fully plant-based. Um, but yeah, it is really good for people that are living a plant-based lifestyle because there are so many recipes in here. It's packed, literally, and it's got a lot of pictures in there as well, which is what, something that I like. It does have pictures in here. Let me see if I can find some of the pictures, if I can show you. Yeah, it's got pictures and stuff in there. So this book costs £14.99. I don't think I spent that on it. I think I got it from the charity shop for about £2. But um, one thing that you can bear in mind is, you know, all these 
you can look at all these books and think, oh my gosh, there's so much money. I, I can't really afford to spend all that money. But, you know, you can get two, one or two of these books. Or you can even go to your local thrift store and sift through your book, the books and see what books you can find. Because I've got a few of these books from the charity shop or the, the thrift store. I think I've got that one from the thrift store. And I've got a couple of more of them from the thrift store that I won't show you now. Um, so I hope you found that useful. This is the end of my vlog today. I'm not going to show you anything else in terms of food and everything. But I just wanted to show you all these books and do the little thought for the day in the beginning and obviously the food that I had in, in at the start. Just a little quick little kind of update that, you know, about the 30 day challenge that I'm doing for Green Smoothies a day. Today's day five, it's going amazing. It is two o'clock now and I've already had two smoothies and I'm gonna have my third one. I'm not gonna show you that because not, I'm not going to do every day showing you food. I'll just do different things in a day. So um, I hope you've enjoyed the video today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for no another video. Thanks a lot for watching. Tomorrow's day six. Stay healthy. Bye. And remember, I'm going to leave all the links and stuff below. So peace and love. Bye.